and now I will show you the demonstration on the dummy models. These are the actual stereolithic models and I will show you the placement of a compressive implant that is the KOS implant and the BCS implants in the mandible and the, as well as the maxilla. So just please come closer. Okay. So as you see here, I have the compressive implant here. Okay, that is the KOS implant or the compressive implant and if you compare this is the BCS implant which is a polished implant okay totally smooth surface polished implants with aggressive threads in the bottom so first I will demonstrate to you the placement of a compressive implants in the mandible So one way, what I do is whenever I, uh, you know, uh, have the patient and he opens the mouth and if there is a lingual undercut present, which means 100% we can do the lingual cortical engagement. So whenever the patient comes to examine you, you ask the patient to open a mouth and like as you see in the complete denture, you can just palpate and if you feel there is an undercut in the posterior mandibular area, definitely we can do a lingual cortical engagement now how to know whether what is the posterior mandibular area just run your finger like this in the vestibule and you will feel the mental foramen of the patient exiting buccally so anything behind the mental foramen is the uh, posterior mandible and anything ahead of it is the anterior mandible so here i see a nice site for the placement of a kos implant okay and as i told you this will be a single drill osteotomy so normally we could, this is a stereolithic model otherwise normally the drill of choice will be the yellow drill over here and just see if i can put it then I, yeah. okay 